All right, here we go with today's video. We are slowly but surely coming to the end of the 2K20 cycle. 2K21 is coming out in, I want to say, five days. It comes out on September 4th, 2020. It should be coming out soon. We're gonna come, we're coming really close to the end of the 2K20 cycle. And to be honest with you guys, I haven't selected my build yet for my career. So if you guys know of any builds that you reckon you guys wanna see for like a my career uh, series, let me know down in the comments. Because I'm thinking in 21, I'm gonna be doing my team, my career, my league. Probably won't be able to post rebuilds every single day like I have been for a while. I am gonna mix up the content a little bit and uh, try my hand out in doing other things. Just cause uh, if I keep doing my league stuff, I'm pretty sure you guys are gonna get a little bit bored of it. So I'm gonna probably change it up a little bit, maybe post post um, two my career videos a week or something. Not too sure yet, but we'll come across that bridge when it comes and it's less than a week away. So let's go, less than a week lads. Then we've got a new 2K. But today, this is the reason why you've clicked on the video is today we're doing a uh, rebuild challenge uh, that was suggested to us by Izzy, Ethan and Eli asking me to do what if Luca and Trey Young switched teams. Rules are trade Luca for Trey. I've already done that. It's on screen. Luka Doncic is on the Hawks and uh, Trey Young is on the Mavericks. Rebuild the Hawks and Mavericks. No making trades with the other team. Make sure you have the Hawks and Mavericks in the finals together in three seasons. Basically, we have to rebuild both of these teams here. Um, Mavericks, not so much need rebuilding, but the Hawks, because 2K don't necessarily love the Hawks team here. We might have to change it up a bit. With this Mavericks team, I am planning on keeping Trey Young and Pazingas together. However, Tim Hardaway and Courtney Lee's contracts are gotta go. Sure, Courtney Lee is on a one-year deal, uh, but I'm gonna get rid of those contracts. Tristan Thompson actually would probably help out a lot with the Mavericks to compete, because we did move Pazingas to the power forward. He's gonna be our starting power forward. Then we can just play Tristan Thompson at the five. I'm all right with that. We do, for this Mavericks team, they do need another starting shooting guard. Like Eric Bledsoe's nice, but we need a shooting guard for this team. Buddy Hield and Bayelitsa. I'm thinking, I'm liking this Buddy Hield deal for the Hawks. Oh no, he gets his big contract next season as well, doesn't he? Never mind, never mind. Uh, shooting guards, is there a cheaper one? Josh Richardson's on a cheap deal, I guess. I, can't, I mean, I'll go Hassan Whiteside, only because he's on a one-year deal. He will be gone next season. Uh, and then if we go like, if we go like this and Maxi Kleber, could we get rid of him for a small forward that's maybe an expiring deal? That would be great. DeMar DeRozan is expiring. Sure, because I'm planning with this Mavericks team to probably... Oh, Anthony Davis doesn't really fit this Mavericks team. Uh, maybe, okay, DeMar DeRozan's pretty good. Like, he's a good starting small forward for sure. If we can get a better starting sense, a shooting guard then, if we go Bronson and Seth... Seth Curry. Actually, Bronson I might just keep for this team. Seth Curry is nice. He's on a four-year deal. We might actually keep Seth and Jalen Bronson. Trey Burke and JJ Barea, though. Can these two guys get me a decent starting shooting guard? We can get Trez... Bruh, bruh, I don't even know why Montrez Harrell comes up there, but um, I'll take it, I'll take it. Trez, and uh, then we can get rid of Trez and uh, Bobon's deal. Oh no, Dylan Wright's deal, because that thing is huge. Uh, could we maybe, oh, we can get Zach Levine as our starting shooting guard lad. Yo. Yep, Zach Levine, you are now the starting shooting guard for the man, um, man, um, man yeah, man, yeah. Zach Levine is now the starting shooting guard for the Dallas Mavericks. The defense on this team, not the greatest. Got to put it out there. Not the greatest. It'll do, though. It'll do. Offensively, this team will do bits. Uh, our bench as well. We're going to move Jalen Bronson back to the point guard because he is going to be the backup point guard for this team for probably this entire rebuild. Seth Bronson, Boban, um, Jacob Pirtle. Uh, Jacob and Boban, could we trade for a couple of... Uh, not even a couple, just a better backup center. We can get NS Cantor as a backup center. Will work for me. Uh, and then we can just go... Where, where, who else did we just pick up? Robert Williams can be a backup uh, power forward for us. That seems to work out all right. Doreen Finney-Smith. You're nice in real life, but in 2K, 2K doesn't like you. Daniel Gafford will send down to the G League. And um, I think... We should be okay. Everyone else that's on a big deal is expiring, aren't they? Tristan Thompson, Matthew Delavadova, and Rod Rodney Magruder's contract isn't expiring. If we can move Rodney Magruder for an expiring deal, 
or a minimum level deal like a Travon Grant. We have to give up a second, but that's okay. Uh, wait, hold up, hold up. No, 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 we can't. Tyson Chandler, I'll take that. Because I almost did that other trade, but it was with the Hawks, so I can't really do anything there. Uh, and now, this Mavericks team seems very set. Yeah, I'm definitely okay with it. Scoring options, Trey Young, Pazingas. Then I'm going to go to Rosen. Four stars for their system. I'm fine with that. Awesome. Now this Hawks team. Luca, they want to start Luca at the one. Ah, oh, I'd prefer to start Luke, put Luca at the three. I know that's the three at the uh, two. I prefer to start him there. So if we go Jeff Teague, Damien John. Actually, no, if we go Jeff Teague and Dwayne Dedman, could we maybe get someone that's on a max deal? Uh, and then we can trade them away. Such as a Blake Griffin. We have to give up a first with that as well. Could we maybe not do that by giving up firsts? That would be great. I'll quite happily give you a couple of seconds, though. I don't want to give you a first. Three first uh, seconds did do it, though. So we've got ourselves a Blake Griffin. Nice. And then we can use Blake Griffin's contract to pair probably alongside... Uh, DeAndre Hunter, he is nice, H don't get me wrong, DeAndre Hunter is nice, but we're trying to get this team to the NBA Finals, lads, and CJ McCollum is the best we're getting offered up, really, Middleton is not bad, we do need a point, Kyle Lowry and Van, Van Vliet, I'm doing that, because Kyle Lowry gives us a championship caliber point guard, and then we can use Fred Van Vliet with, say, uh, DeAndre Hunter, and we could probably get ourselves a starting small forward yeah because that's what we definitely need now well it's ggs i just traded for ben simmons boys <laughs> uh, it's really easy to trade for ben simmons let's just put it that way i gave up van vliet deandre hunter and uh four first round picks uh for ben simmons who we can then play at the small forward he's going to be our starting small forward here Damn, all right, yeah, this team got really good really quickly. Our uh, bench, on the other hand, does need a little bit of work, although it should be all right considering we have Ben Simmons starting now. So, however, if we can just de get our bench a little bit deeper, Cody Zeller and Devontae Graham definitely help out there. We, oh, we don't need a backup point guard, do we? Mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm. We need a shooting guard. I mean, Derek Rose could probably start at the two. Uh, you, oh, we've also got Luke. Yeah, you know what? We just did that trade anyway. We'll just do that trade anyway. Derek Rose, we can move to the shooting guard. He goes up to an 86. Uh, and we can move Derek Rose with... Do we have any poor contracts here? We do have Mike Scott's contract. Could we potentially move it for Trez? Mm. I would like Anthony Davis for this team. Who's our starting power forward? John Collins. If we could get Anthony Davis next off season you know what that's actually not a bad move if we get trez to come off our bench for this season or we could just go mitchell robinson if, if i'm going like that i might as well get rid of uh, mike scott's contract from this trade and we could just get mitch robinson i reckon yeah mitchell robinson he's definitely a center that we can use off of our bench i don't mind that at all and uh, then we have Devontae, mitch robinson luke canard bembry we could probably get someone a bit better than Bembry to come off our bench. Ah, I'm looking for a power forward and Rudy Gay could be it. Yeah, you know what? I'll go Rudy Gay. Rudy Gay's all right. He's got two years left on his deal, so he could probably... Yeah, we could probably move him next seat after that. So yeah, we should be okay. I am going to be running a nine-man rotation instead of a ten-man. Uh, Luca and Ben Simmons getting most of the minutes there. Uh, I'm definitely okay with this rotation for this season. I'm going to go Luca, Simmons... And Kyle Lowry as scoring options. Do we have any four-star systems? We do with seven seconds. That's going to be our new system for this season anyway. And I think we should be all right for both of our teams here. The Atlanta Hawks and Dallas Mavericks. Uh, Dallas is projected 17th and Atlanta 19th. So let's see what happens. Uh, both these teams. Let's see if we can get them both to the playoffs. All-star break here. The Mavericks do get Ben Simmons and Luka Doncic as all-star starters. However... The, uh, not the Mavericks, they're the Hawks. The Mavericks have uh, no one. I don't think so. Unless they have Hassan White. No, they don't. They have Tristan Thompson, don't they? No. And oh, also, the uh, Hawks also have Kyle Lowry as well. Damn. All right. Yeah, all right. Cool, cool, cool. At the end of the season, Luca does go win MVP. Good on you, lad. Good on you. 29 and 10. Almost a triple double there. Um, Luca also wins most improved Lloyd Pierce Coach of the Year with 71 wins. Oh, so the Mavs went 85. Mm. So the Mavs went 58 and 24, and uh, and the Hawks went 71 and 11. Luca gets All NBA First Team honors. Good on you, Luca. Do we? And Ben Simmons also gets All NBA All NBA Second Team. All right. Okay. Nice to see. 
And uh, two seed for the Mavs and uh, one seed for the Atlanta Hawks. Good on them. Uh, for the Hawks here, Luca, you saw Luca's numbers 25, 6, and 8 for Ben Simmons, 15, 2, and 8 for Kyle Lowry, 15, 7, and 1 for John Collins, 11, 9, and 1 for Clint Capella. So very nice numbers there by those Atlanta Hawks. The Mavericks' leading scorer was DeMar DeRozan, and then Trey Young, Pazingas, Levine. So it wasn't as good as the um, the Hawks, but it's all right. So one and two for points per game. Defensively, one, uh, two and 14. Well, 16 actually. And differential, I'm sure we're one and two. No, we're one and three. Okay, good on you. I'm not too worried about the Hawks. I'm more worried about the Mavericks here. So we'll just simulate round. See what goes on. Uh, watch this Mavericks series against Utah. It should, yeah, we've, they've already won one game on it. Okay, they're down. 2-1, and now they're down 3-1. The Hawks, on the other hand, are up 3-1, so that should be all right. I'm going to do this Hawks, no, Jazz Mavericks. Yes. Simulate. Let's see. Can we maybe not lose in the first round here? That would be absolutely sublime. Um, yeah. Okay, cool. We do. The Hawks actually didn't win that as well. Okay. I want this Mavericks game. Continue. The, Haw oh, the Hawks have a game 7-2, man. The Hawks have a game seven. Oh, damn, oh, damn, oh, damn, oh, damn, oh, damn, oh, damn. Simulate game, away from home. This is to force a game seven for the Mavericks. Could uh, you maybe try and force a game seven here, boys? Trey Young, you want to come out and... Oh, my goodness, they did. They forced a game seven. Now we got to go over here and watch this Hawks series. Oh, no. Oh, that was close. we got to watch this Hawks series because uh, I have a feeling uh, that it's going to be a close one as well. Why are both teams in game seven? Oh my god. The Hawks. Come on. Really? They're gonna get they're gonna they got they've lost in the first round. The Hawks lost in the first round. The Hawks lost in the first round. You know what? I simulate game. Oh the Mavericks made it at least. Good on you, good on you. The Hawks lost in the first round and they won 71 games. What the hell? And the Mavericks got swept by the Lakers in uh, in the Western Conference Finals. So we had one team that made the Western Finals and one team that lost in the first round. And the Milwaukee Bucks won uh, won the championship. Good on them. Lottery here. Hawks and Gr and um not Grizzlies. I keep saying Grizzlies. It's the Mavericks. Uh, we don't get any good picks. Fair enough. I mean, we traded them both away probably. Rick Carlisle, I'm alright. Lloyd Pierce, yeah, you're getting fired, lad. You're getting fired. We're bringing in Greg Popovich. We're, we're bringing in Greg Popovich. Yep, Greg Popovich signs. Awesome. That's all I wanted from the, from from them uh, and also we're gonna go a new assistant GM for the Mavericks and we should be okay for both teams thank you staff is set for both teams we'll go down the draft let's see what we can do I for the this Hawks team I am going to try and be freeing up some cap so I'll probably be trading away Kyle Lowry if we can get some week of mark I was about to say maybe that trade but no it's the Mavericks we're not allowed to do those trades. The Hawks didn't have a first, and uh, the Mavericks did. They picked up Jay Scrub. Scrub? Yeah, sure. Take him on. Team player options. Both those guys declined, and both those guys accept. Lovely. Scowl. Uh, no, 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 and no. And the Mavericks have none, so that's all right then, I guess. For this Atlanta side, I need to free up $37 million to try and go after... Uh, what's his face? You know who I'm talking about. Uh, Anthony Davis uh, is uh, CQ Dumboya. We're losing out on a lot of value there. However, it is a lot of cap freed up. I'm actually going to go bring DeAndre Hunter back just because he yeah, is making a little bit less money and we can trade him away because uh, he's got trade value. So then if we go Gorgie Dang, who's making, what, $17 million a season, get rid of that. Uh, for anything for two first from Charlotte. Yeah, cheers lads. Cheers boys uh, And then we can get rid of this Rudy Gay contract uh, For picks uh, if possible. That would be great. But uh, yes, thank you Detroit Thank you. I think oh no, we need to free up 800k more Awesome, which means we got to say goodbye to Metu here for a first Don't mind if I do now AD do you want to come to Atlanta and play with Ben Simmons and Luka Doncic. You do. Oh, he does. 
How about it, lads? Get in, boys. Get in. Now, for this Mavericks team, I am going to be re-signing uh, DeMar DeRozan to a max deal. We're probably going to... We're definitely going to be trading him away. Same with Tristan Thompson. We'll sign him to a deal and trade him away. Anyone else I don't really care about for this team. Uh, Ennis Cancer. Oh, no. No, renounce rights on everybody here. What? Luka Doncic? Oh, no, you know, that's because... Yeah, okay, never mind. Yeah, we're all good there. And Anthony Davis is the only one that I want for the Atlanta Hawks. So, yeah, we should be all right for this moratorium period. Uh, we should be fine. I think now uh, Montrez Harrell is the best available player. 27 mil to get Trez and 44 mil to get Trez. So, now I'm going to be moving on from... Tristan Thompson here. I am going to be moving on from Tristan and DeRozan. If I can trade both of these guys for not that one. Rudy Gobert's not bad, you know. Chris Paul and Drew Holiday. I like that as well. I'm going to do this Chris Paul deal. Uh, we are, we do have, we do have Trey Young, so we don't need a point guard. If I can go Drew and Chris Paul, nothing. What about just Chris Paul by himself? Can we? Okay, I was hoping bloody. What's his face? Paul George got offered up, but no. Uh, ben Simmons does, but we can't do a Ben Simmons deal. Baga. All right, all right. Can I maybe try and get PG here? I don't think I can, but I'll try. In the trade finder, we could trade Drew Holiday and Dorian Finney-Smith for Rashawn Holmes and Buddy Hield. I don't mind if I do that because what I can do with Rashawn here, move him to the power forwards and then trade Rashawn and let's go Daniel Gafford and we should be able to get someone very valuable. Those two guys are valuable, but I don't want to give up Seth Curry. Oh, uh, that, that, that said Michael Porter Jr. Oh, we're giving up Gafford and for MPJ? Is it really worth? Yeah, I think it is. Okay, cool. Can we now try and get Paul George here? Because I would like to get Paul George for this Mavericks team. I think it would be very nice. Uh, but for some reason, nothing's going to go through here. Uh, what if I chucked in Buddy Hield now? 18 million. You give me Terrence Ross and Justin Jackson. Plus, I'll give you a couple of seconds. How about it, boys? No? Okay. Personally, I'd do that trade. Not going to lie to you. If I go Buddy Hield and Chris Paul, uh, we can only get those two. What if I go Chris Paul, MPJ? Donovan Mitchell. I like that a lot. I like that a lot. Yeah, Donovan, welcome to the Dallas Mavericks, buddy. And that means we could say goodbye to Zach Levine, buddy healed. We need a small forward here and a small forward that well, Devin Book is not exactly the greatest. Let's just put it that way. We can go to Marta Rosen and Tristan Thompson. Sure. Get those guys back. Sure. Mike Conley, we've got to get rid of that contract. And for Kyle Kuzma, who can potentially be a very decent player to come off of our bench. Sure. Why the heck not? Then DeRozan pair with actually Kyle Kuzma again. And I uh, have a feeling we could probably get someone to play the small forwards here, maybe. Potentially. That would be great. Or even just Devin Booker and Kelly Oubre. That could work. <laughs> I'm just saying that could kind of work. Chris Middleton. That could work. Oh, Jason Tatum. Yeah, there we go. We got it. We got our trade. We got our trade. There we go. We're done. We're done. We're done. This team's good. This team's good now. This team's good now. You know what? I'm happy with it now. I'm happy with it. We need a center, but I I'm happy with it now. That's a lot better. Thank you. Gordon Haywood and uh, let's go Robert Williams. Could you get me a center, bad buddies? That'd be great. Uh, center, please. 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 Malcolm Brogdon's not a center. Ah, I'm looking for a center, boys. Come on. Yusuf Nurkic, I was hoping, could come up, but no. All right, Jamal Murray. I'll take Jamal Murray. He works. That definitely works. Uh, Jamal, move him to the shooting guard. He goes to, what, an 80, not 87. And then we can go Jamal, and we don't have any picks, so just Jamal Murray by himself. Could we? Wow, really? No. Uh, we need a center. Steven Adams, or we can get Miles Turner. I think I'm liking this Steven Adams. I mean... Oh, plus we also get, yeah, no, what? sure, I'll do this. I'll get Miles Turner, make our team a bit deeper. So we don't need, we've also got Devin Booker still. I just realized we've still got Devin Booker. Oh my goodness. Seth Curry, that means we don't need Seth, Dougie McDermott and Seth Curry. We can get, uh, we can still get Covington, who isn't that bad. Let's just put it that way. Covington isn't bad. Daniel House as well. 
that work that could work so we've definitely got all of our positions sorted right yeah yeah because we can move Pazingas back up position to a center we should be fine this Hawks team now has a three-headed monster in uh Luca, AD and Ben Simmons so uh, yeah have fun scoring on this team all right just have fun scoring and uh trying to beat it uh and I think our team's actually kind of set we need a better starting point guard I just realized we don't have a good starting point. All right, we don't have a starting point guard. Okay, that means we're going to have to say goodbye to John Collins and probably DeAndre Hunter. Point guard, Bam on a bio is not, not bad. You know, just, just saying, just going to put it out there. Bam's not that bad. And uh, I am going to be doing this, <laughs> this Bam deal because uh, Bam, he's not making a lot. So if we actually do that with Clint Capella, who's making a bit more money, 16 mil, and then pair him with Mike Scott... Could we maybe get a point guard that we... Ooh, De'Aaron Fox. Nice. De'Aaron Fox could be it, you know. Uh, could we then maybe do that without giving up Clint? I mean, we got Bam. Yeah, if we just give up Bam, we can get De'Aaron. Sure, we'll quite happily do that. We'll move Clint back to the starting center. We should be okay now. We can, 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 we can get rid of Kendrick Nunn. Uh, we probably should go for a backup small forward or power forward. So if we go uh, James and Mike Scott, could we get ourselves a backup small forward, please? Admiral Schofield, that could work. Sure. Uh, and then we could go probably Miller and Kendrick Nunn. Yeah, Miller and Kendrick Nunn for a power forward, small forward. That works. Matisse Tybal definitely works. We're at training camps here for both teams. We've only got one for the Atlanta Hawks, and we'll probably go to give it to De'Aaron Fox. Oh, no, he's already an A+. Plus. We'll go Mitchell Robinson, sure. Uh, Dallas Mavericks have two, and I'm going to give it to Miles Turner and Robert Covington, I'm feeling. I'm feel oh, we'll go Jalen Brunson, because he is going to be our backup point guard, sure. Why the heck? Not that way. Just so you guys know, both these teams, proper madness. But we'll start off with the Mavericks. Trey Young, Donovan Mitchell, Jason Tatum, Chris Stapps, Pazingas, and Miles Turner. They want to start Miles Turner. I mean, all right. They can start Miles. Fair enough. Devin Booker, Robert Covington, Jalen Brunson, Daniel House. I mean, who else are they going to start except Miles Turner? Fair enough. Uh, we'll also go... We've got Jason Tatum now, so I'll go like that, you know? I'll go like that. We've got a four and a half star system with balance. Jesus! And for this Atlanta Hawks side, we have De'Aaron Fox, Luka Doncic, Ben Simmons, Anthony Davis, and Clint Capella as our starting five. We then have Mitchell Robinson, Matisse Tybal, Devontae Graham, and Luke Kennard coming off of the... And Bruno Caboclo. Let's change that. <laughs> let's let's change that a little bit, shall we? And uh, go a bit like that. That, sh that should definitely be all right. Nine-man rotation definitely should be all right. We're going to run Luka... Davis Simmons as scoring options and we have a balanced system a defensive system actually we are projected one and the uh, Mavericks are projected holy shit projected 18 damn I right. the toughest part about the all-star breaks is I got to remember who's on what team uh, but I they have a basic gist of what's happening the Hawks have Ben Simmons uh, that's it, isn't it? Ben Simmons and Luka Doncic. Oh, and Anthony Davis. Forgot about those three. Yep, the Hawks have those three. And uh, the Mavericks, they have Jason Tatum. That is it. <laughs> so, uh, Luka once again wins MVP. You know, that's that's kind of a given nowadays. John Collins wins himself uh, most improved. Good on you. Putting up 20 and 11. Let's go. Let's go, big man. Let's go. Greg Popovich does win coach of the year with 70 wins for that Hawks team. So, 71 and 12 for Hawks and uh, 55 and 27 for the Mavericks. The Hawks have Luka Doncic, All-NBA first team. All-NBA second team, we have Anthony Davis for the Hawks. And we have Ben Simmons, All-NBA third team for the Hawks. So... The Hawks dominating, both one seeds. That's what I like to see. You've seen Lucas stat line, 25, 10, and 2 for AD, 25 and 8 for Simmons, 14, 2 and 3 and 7, uh, 8 basically for De'Aaron, 10, 9 and 0 for Clint Capella. So very nice stats for the Hawks team. This Mavericks team, Trey Young was the leading scorer, but no one else really did anything crazy. No one else did anything crazy. Offensively, we're first and fourth. Defensively, we're first and, oh, oh, 12th. And differential, we were first and fifth. Oh, oh. Could we maybe get both teams out of the first round, please? That'll be... Wait, hold on. The Mavericks lost for game one. Yeah, the Hawks have made it through, and the Mavericks make it through. Both teams in the second round. Ma Mavericks taking on Utah and Philly is taking on Atlanta there. Both up 3-1. And 
we get both teams through to the conference finals. Can we get them both to meet in the finals? That would be great. We do, boys. Yes, we do. Goal complete for this video. Let's see which team would win, you know? Let's see what team would win. The Atlanta Hawks are up 3-1. You know what? I'm gassed I got both these teams to the NBA finals, all right? I got both these teams to the NBA finals. Uh, let's have a look, Ski Doodles. If the Mavericks are up, I will probably jump in and use the Dallas Mavericks. But, you know what? I want this series to go for a little bit longer. I'm going to jump in. I'm going to be the Dallas Mavericks and try and bring back the uh, the lead for the Hawks in two minutes. Probably not going to happen, but let's give it a go. So, yeah, I'm going to be the Dallas Mavericks. We're going to go to Donovan Mitchell here, I reckon. If we chuck it to Pazingas, pull up for three, that's probably not going to go in. And yeah, I didn't expect that to go in, not going to lie. Um, Pazingas on Davis, I don't mind that matchup. Why is Booker in at small forward? Got no idea. Reggie Bullock's in for the Hawks. Uh, Donovan Mitchell has four fouls too. And the Hawks are in the bonus. Yeah, nah, this is GG's. <laughs> GG's. Game's over. Oh, Reggie Bullock. Reggie Bullock, my lad. Oh, my goodness. Jalen. Uh, Jason Tatum. Could you maybe bring the ball in a little bit quicker? Thank you. Donovan. We'll go to Tatum. Chuck it back out to Donovan, uh, who's not going to get the shot off. Uh, Reggie Bullock is on Jason Tatum. So I kind of like that matchup a little bit better. But uh, can we chuck it back to Tatum here? From the corner, Green Bean. How about it? Only 15 points in the margin now. Only 15, you know, it's totally manageable. Uh, I think our best bet is to go to Tatum again. Actually, let's go to De Donovan Mitchell this time, who sinks the three. Um, it's still a long way to go, but, uh, I mean, sinking threes is a good way to go. <laughs> you know, it does make it a little bit easier when we're hitting threes, but I have a feeling it's not going to lead to much. Just have a sneaking suspicion. Oh, get that out of here. Get it out of here, Luca. Chris Daps is on the case. Let's go. Get it out of here, Luca. Okay, never mind. All the, all the subs are in now. It's, it's GG. <laughs> it's GG. How, they're not going to get a shot off in 0.5 set. No, I was about to say, how did they get that shot off? But they didn't. Okay, GG's. Our entire Dallas Mavericks bench is in. If we can somehow get a bloody bucket with the bench, that would be crazy. Like, if we can just get a bucket with the bench. That's what I'm trying to go for here. Just a bucket. Park it, chop, pass it, pass it. Someone come up here. Yo, Keem, come give us a screen up here, big boy. Yeah. Chuck it into Yo, Keem. Gets the points. No, he doesn't. Gonna have to go to the free throw line. Bruno Caboclo fouled him. And uh, Yo, Keem Noah is not a good free throw shooter. Okay, one point. That's all we need. One point from the line. We get it. We did it. We scored a point with our the Dallas Mavericks, like, third team. So... I guess that's a dub, right? That's a, that's a dub. I may have just fouled some bloke as Joachim Noah. Let's just put it that way. I may have, but just to get the final shot, but never mind. We missed the final shot. Either way, we would have won the championship with one of our teams, which is the goal of the video, to get both teams to the NBA Finals, and we did it. So, the uh, Atlanta Hawks are the champions. Luka wins Finals MVP, putting up triple-double type numbers. So, I think we put together two very, very good teams. I did say three seasons, didn't I? Well, I'm going to end the video here. It is two, two rebuilds in one video, so hopefully you guys all enjoyed it. Let me know which team you enjoyed looking at the most, which team you reckon was the best one. Personally, uh, just this big three-headed monster here. One of my favorite uh, things to put together. Pretty dang awesome to see Luca, AD, and Ben Simmons all on the same team. Imagine that in real life. That would be absolutely mental. But that is going to do it for today's video video hopefully you guys all enjoyed it if you did be sure to leave a like subscribe all that good stuff uh i think that's really about it guys if you can if you can it would really mean a lot if you guys could go down there and subscribe it would be absolutely amazing if you guys could do that but that's gonna do it i'll catch you guys tomorrow